Hello. Wait. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, hello. Today we are going to tell you which is the best toilet paper to buy. Ooh, I can't wait to find out. We're re recreating the great toilet paper test of 2018 and 2023 to see which toilet paper is the best deal and if it's still a good deal. Um, this video is brought to you by our Dining Out of Dime cookbooks on sale right now for Valentine's Day. Grab your copy, guys, while they are 35% off. Yes, toilet paper is in a lot of people's grocery bills. So this will help you cut your grocery bill. All right. You don't eat toilet paper. I <laughs> no, but you use it for your food, I guess. Oh, All right, oh, so I have oh, some gritty. peanut butter with some hot chocolate mix because I couldn't find my cocoa. And I left in the mini marshmallows, so with simulate corn. Ew. And we're going to test on Michael's arm like we did last time. What? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> No. All right. Oops, the camera won't move. So Mike's going to have to just hold his hand. All right. So first of all, let me just say that. Um, Ooh, it's already got stuff on it. <laughs> it makes a huge difference if you fold versus if you wad. Okay. This is two times the amount of toilet paper as folding. Wadding is not cheap. So what you can do when you fold is you start with four sheets folded and you have one wipe folded in half, another wipe folded in half, and a third wipe, and then you can be finished. When you wad, there's no extra sides to fold. So you only get one wipe. So you use about four times the amount of toilet paper wadding as you do folding. Okay. That's why I just, never mind. Yes. So, <laughs> all right. It's like now, a college I, guy's underwear right there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So here we go. Now. I broke, I broke down all of the toilet papers into um, the different brands. I got Sam's, Costco, Great Value Ultra Strong, Six Roll, Great Value 1000, which is the Great Value uh, Scott knockoff, Charmin Essential Strong, Scott Tissue, Charmin Ultra Strong, 18 rolls and 9 rolls, Great Value Soft and Strong, and Angel Soft, 12 rolls, okay? So that's what I got. Now, here we go. All right, number one. First of all, let's get ourselves. You're going to have to tip. Can you tip your arm? Oh, there we go. Okay. So here we go. A nice little healthy, healthy oh, plop gross. there. I got it nice and worked in. The first one here is Costco. Okay. Now <laughs> I have four sheets. I'm going to test four sheets to start with. Okay. Oh, get it off. Costco. Get it off. <laughs> Ooh, actually no tearage is happening. No tearage. Oh, that's okay. disgusting. <laughs> Then you go again. I really did not. And then one more time. I would say Costco did a pretty good job. There's a little bit of lint left. <laughs> you can see the lint there. A little linty, but we got a very firm wipe with four sheets from Costco. Okay, where's my trash can go? I lost How did trash I get can. to be the poop model? Come okay. On. <laughs> so four sheets is what Costco the little hazmat is logo what Costco did. Okay, so now let me get all the so we can do the glint test. All right, the next one is Sam's. One, two, three, 
four. Now, everyone, give a thumbs up to my friend, Goalie, and our planner printer in Fort Collins, Colorado, when I went to get them. She ever so kindly ran to Costco for me so I didn't have to buy a Costco membership just to go get toilet paper. So tell Goalie, thank you, guys. I appreciate Goalie. Okay, so now I have four I'm sorry, of I think, Sam's. I think we, we need to put baby wipes on there. <laughs> Dude wipes. I should have done dude, the dude wipes. wipes. <laughs> okay. Now, get the oh. next healthy little Again. little batch there. Okay. This now, takes me back to the diaper changing days. It does. Okay. So turn this way. Here we go. We've got one wipe. Huh? Pretty good. Man, you made that a little too realistic looking. <laughs> <laughs> Two wipes. No breakage. I'm impressed with um, Sam so far. And three wipes. And look, Sam's does not leave as much lint. Wow. Okay. So, Sam's, we got by with four for Sam's. Patricia says the things I'll do for her. <laughs> four yeah. sheets for Sam's. Okay. Now we're going to go to Great Value Ultra Strong, which is this one. Okay. So it's this one right here. This is the next one, Great Value Ultra Strong. Okay. And then I'm going to go through prices. Okay. All right. Now we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, here we go. Some people are dying. All right. You're doing a good job, dear. Good, doing a good job. Okay. Now, I get a sticker. You get a sticker. Oh, I'll give you something more than a sticker. Woo! Okay. <laughs> now, here's a nice, healthy amount. The Great Value Ultra Strong. I think this is the Walmart knockoff of Charmin. Okay, here we go. One. No. Oh, look. No breakage. No breakthrough happening. Okay. Two. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And three. Wow, not very much lint on this one either. Oh, I think my arm needs a bidet. I think your <laughs> arm needs a bidet. Okay, so we got by with four sheets on Great Value Extra Strong. Now we're going to do the Great Value Scott Tissue Knockoff. This is where it's going to start getting interesting, okay? All right, you ready? <laughs> Okay, nice, healthy amount there. Just, you know, got to be realistic here. Okay. Ooh, oh, that's now, realistic. Now, this is the Scott Value knockoff, I think, or the, the Walmart knockoff of Scott. One, Whoa, two, three, very four. Thin. This is very thin. It's Look at it. Very thin. You can see through it. Look at that. I mean, you can definitely see this is way thinner. Wow, that's like. It's like if you. It's like tissue paper. It's like if you peel Kleenex into its individual flies. Okay, we've got four that we're starting with here, and I'm folding it in thirds like I do. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be brave. You're brave. Oh. Wow. So. Smeared on me. So surprisingly, I. Okay, my turd's falling off here, but. <laughs> So, okay, so here's the thing. It's been breakthrough, oh, but my sorry. turd is falling I, off. I'm sorry, this video inside. needs a warning on it. <laughs> okay, now we're not done yet. Hold on. Now we got to finish. I honestly thought this would break through. It did not. But it is, okay, you can see it's pretty flimsy here. Okay, but it did not get it as clean, okay? So... Let's see. I'll do four more. Ah, man. Okay. Get, yeah, there's still more cloth on there. <laughs> wow. Okay. This Scott is not good at cleaning at all. Wow. Okay. Now, I, I don't know. Should, I guess I'll do another, another four for Scott. That is a significant amount of residue left. Marilyn Monroe wants to know, are we sending Mike to the showers after this? Yes. Okay. So it took 12, <laughs> dump that one. <laughs> 12 sheets and a lot of lint on that one. Okay. 
and I got it on my finger. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Joy says that's a clean on. Sorry. Okay, so this the great value thousand took 12 sheets. Okay, now the Charmin Essentials, which I think is the Charmin cheapy one. <laughs> Jean says, I'll never look at peanut butter the same. I know. We don't eat it in our house. Okay. So this is the Charmin Essentials. Woo! That's pretty see-through, too. But it looks like it's... It looks like Maybe a, fancy, a little bit thicker. It, it looks like a fancy fabric, the way the pattern is on it. Okay. Let's do our next... Let's see. Am I giving you, am I giving you toilet paper burn yet? I don't want to give you toilet paper burn. I think you are. Okay. I'm going to need some baby powder after this. <laughs> okay so here's the next one great value essentials or no Charmin essentials oh once again oh the turd's falling off oh dear okay the turd is not I didn't sticking. even want to know how you get a turd on the back of your arm <laughs> the turd is sticking is it see it's can you guys see this it's rolling off the toilet uh, paper gross. it is not being adhered to the toilet paper <laughs> Now, there is, oh my goodness, that's really bad. Okay, now, there is no breaking through, though. There's no breaking through. Okay, we're good. At least she's oh, isn't using... Oh, but there's smushage. Uh... Oh, there's smushage. Now we broke through. Okay, see, we broke through right there. Okay, that's not good. Oh, wow, this is not good. One, two, oh, three, four, one. Oh, you put that in the trash. It's going to get on the three, computer. Three, four. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Here. Put this over here. Okay. The next one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay. This one. Okay. Hold on. Got to do another set here. Christine says it really feels like a private moment between you two. No. Okay. No, these are like private by yourself moments. With your nurse. Okay. Now, this one, look at this. It did not leave lint, but I had to use 12 sheets to get a proper cleanse on that one. Okay, so that so we're one. we're using a different spot each time because Sarah's saying now Mike's arm is sticky and everything will stick. Yeah, I'm it. using a different spot. I've been moving around. Oh, goody, on the goody. Spots. <laughs> All right, so guys, before we finish, here <laughs> are Dining on a Dime cookbooks. Are on sale for Valentine's Day right now, guys. I think they lost their appetite for the good burger. Thirty-five percent off for Valentine's Day. Our cookbooks are on sale, so grab them while you can. Okay, next we're gonna do the controversial toilet paper Scott tissue. <laughs> All right, now. We have a lot of people who really like Scott Tissue, including our friends Aldermans. What? I know. I know it's a travesty, but some people can't, can't be taught. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now, this is thicker than the uh, other, than the... Wow. Actually, the Scott is actually a little thicker than the Great Value knockoff. You know what I'm... Sorry, I didn't mean to put it that seems sticky like. stuff in your face there. <laughs> Um, they don't all look like, well, I guess they are. They're not all the same size. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Yeah, some of the rolls are wider than other rolls. That's because they have more sheets. Yep. Okay. So, oops. No, more. I mean wider, like, on the toilet paper roller. Oh, seriously? This one on the bottom is bigger than the others. Oh, seriously? Oh, you're going to get that smeared Let's on your clothes. See. What? Oh, it is wider. Oh my, let's see. Is it white? Oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it whiter? Oh, look at that! Holy moly! Yeah, which one is the bigger Costco. one? Costco! Oh, so not only does the thickness of the paper matter, but the width matters. Ooh! Oh, you just made a big discovery, dear. Okay, let's get a piece of corn here. Okay. No. 
Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Thanks, we do for love. A nice, healthy dose. Now, this is the actual Scott tissue, and I'm sorry, but this is so flimsy. Oh, my goodness. It is just so flimsy. Okay, but that's okay. I know some people love their Scott, and I will not be prejudiced against Scott users. You never thought you were going to get a real life demo here, <laughs> at least it's not any more real now, life than this. Now, here's the thing. Why are we doing this? Because <clears throat> it's the cost per wipe, not the cost per sheet. Because you have to use way more sheets of, of Scott than you do Charmin. And so that's why we're testing price per wipe. That's how much it is. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay. Now, actually, the turd stuck a little bit better on the Scott tissue. That's good. But there's no breakthrough. No breakthrough. Okay. Now... Uh, but you can't get more than about one wipe. Okay, so there's four. And, and one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Second try at this. I think after this, we're going to need to oh. test diaper rash cream. Okay, I'm sorry, but look at that. Scott Tissue does not get this stuff off. Kimmy says this is killing her. <laughs> Really, look at the amount of residue there. That's quite a bit, actually. Kimmy, I think you and Derek should try this next. <laughs> oh, we need to have Derek and Mike on together. Oh, for okay. what? Not for toilet paper tests. No. Okay, now I have used 12 sheets and it is still You're not chafing. coming. I'm sorry, it's not coming clean, though. <laughs> It's still not coming clean with Scott tissue. So let me do four more. But I mean, this is where a bidet or your dude wipes, I can see why you would need them. Okay. So not my dude wipes. 16. <laughs> well, I mean, men's dude wipes. Okay. Yes. So basically, 16 sheets is what's needed of Scott. Okay. Charmin Ultra Strong right here. Okay, we're well, doing. How are you doing, dear? Poop build up. Are you are you are you okay? One, two, three. I'm just One, two, three, four. <laughs> Practice your laws there. Okay, now this is significantly <laughs> thicker. Oh my goodness! Now Mike and I did have the Scott versus Charmin debate when we were first married, and I will tell you, we had two toilet papers for probably the first five years of our marriage because I was not about to give up my Charmin. And he swore by Scott. And I'm like, I saw it. My tushy is not going to handle Scott. Well, there was also the whole so, which way should the toilet paper go on the roll debate. But that's probably a show of its own. <laughs> yeah, guys, comment and let me know which way does the toilet paper go. Does it go over the correct way like this? Or do you do it under oh, the wrong way? Let's just say. Sarah, even if I ate peanut butter, I don't think I would be able to in good conscience, have peanut butter sandwiches with this peanut butter. Okay, let's go to another section here. Get a good turd on there. Get it nice and smushed. Ooh, it's gross okay, and now smushy. this one is the Charmin Ultra Strong. The actual actual Charmin. Here we go. Oh, the turd doesn't stick either. So you. Oh. She wow. actually made this too realistic, I think. Look, no breakthrough, though. No breakthrough. Okay, so I folded it in half now. And second wipe. See, it's doing better. And third wipe. Hmm. Okay, it did pretty good, but not as good as I had expected, actually. So, oops. Oh, dear. Where'd the Sherman go? Oh, here it is. Okay. One, two, three. So we actually, even though the Charmin is thicker, the wow. poop is not sticking to the toilet paper as well. You really got to, wow. Okay. I would say that is an eight sheet wipe. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Eight sheets. Is anybody still with us? Okay. We only have two left. All right. Cherry, I'd say this is pretty mushy, <laughs> the way she made it. 
The next one is a whole week to collect all <laughs> the great values, soft and strong. That one. So I'm assuming this is the Walmart Charmin knockoff. Oh, it's not as thick. That's interesting. Okay, so <laughs> is this why Mike won't eat peanut butter? Probably. <laughs> Probably. No, he just has an aversion to peanut butter and eggs. Okay, you ready? We'll go to your hand now, so I don't, so I don't chafe you. Oh, it's on okay. my hand. Got a nice plump turd there. This is definitely flashbacks to diapers. Oh, the turd is not sticking yet again. Oh, oh, the turd fell off. Uh, oh dear. The keyboard will clean. Okay, so we'll assume the turd fell in the Lisa toilet. Your computer. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, look at this turd is not sticking at all. Look oh, at, you got it on your hand. Look, it's not sticking. Keep it away from my stuff here. Dear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Okay, so let's see. We'll fold it in half, assuming you have some sort of something left on there. Okay. Yeah, like that. Now, that didn't work too well, did it? We got that. We should test the days. We should. Oh, now here's the thing though. It did only take four because even though the turd didn't stick, it did do a very nice clean wipe without hardly any lint. Very good. Very good. Oops, I got some on my finger. Okay. So the next <laughs> one. So that was still just a four sheet wipe. And the last one here is angel soft okay one two three four very good and here we go I'll do your hand one more time on the side here okay got a nice healthy turd there okay can you see now here we go you should make it to an oh, emoji shape. oh angel soft is not sticking either it's not hard oh <laughs> Turd does not stick to Angel Soft. This was not a problem we had in the last demonstration. With Angel Soft? With any of them. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of coating or something that they've removed or something. I don't know. Okay, so there we got the fold. And then another one. Oh, but the Angel Soft does not cleanse with Cynthia, just four. I'm not even reading your comment because she might do it. <laughs> what did she say? Nothing. Nothing. Let's see, Cynthia. I, I got my computer right here. Cynthia, where's Cynthia? Now I can't find Cynthia. What did Cynthia say? You may not. What did Cynthia say? She One, said two. you should put it on my forehead. On your forehead. No. <laughs> okay, so let's. I, I, so I had to get four more of Angel Soft to finish the cleanse, and that got it. So eight got it. Okay, so. Denise, Here. what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, we're testing simulated turds and toilet paper wiping. Isn't that what everyone does? Of course, that's what everyone does. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to sit here and do my math real quick. <laughs> so the Sam's Club is 0 0.0021 cents per sheet. So it's $22.98. For 45 rolls, so that's 51 cents a roll at 0 0.0021 per sheet with 235 sheets per roll, and it took four sheets to use. So that cost was 0 0.0084 per wipe. That is the cost per wipe for the Sam's Club. The... Costco was $23.99 online, although my friend said she thought she got it for $19.99. So I'm not quite sure on the price on that. So I just went with the online one. That's 20 rolls for 79 cents. But if you guys will remember, the Costco was significantly wider than the other one. So you actually get more coverage. Okay. That's 0 0.0027 a sheet with 380 sheets. Per roll, four times 0 0.0027 is 0 0.0108 cost per wipe. Very interesting, very interesting. 
All right, next, Great Value Ultra Strong, which was this red one up here, the red one. Great Value Extra Strong, six rolls, $7.66 for $1.27 per roll, 0.0044 per sheet times four sheets. That is 0 0.176 per wipe. Now, remember those first three, the turds actually stuck to the toilet paper better. So that's very good. Now this is where the turds stop sticking. Great value thousand. So that's the Walmart knockoff of Scott tissue. That took 12 sheets. So it was 16 rolls for 11.62, 72 cents a roll. 0 0.007 per sheet, but it took us 12 sheets. So that is 0 0.084 per wipe. Okay. Oh, very interesting things happening here. Very interesting things happening here. So okay. you're recalculating from the last time. All right. I am recalculating because prices have gone up on a lot of things. Charmin Essentials. The yellow Charmin right there is 12 rolls for $10.97, 91 cents a roll, 0 0.002 per sheet at 429 sheets per roll, but it took 12 sheets for a fully cleansed wipe at 0 0.024 per wipe. Charmin Ultra Strong, that one right there, is $11.96 for a nine rolls, $1.32 a roll, and it took eight sheets with 242 sheets per roll at 0 0.0054 per sheet, and it took eight sheets, that is... 0 0.043 per wipe. And, um, oh, this is very, very interesting here. <clears throat> the 18 rolls is 6.006 .006 cents a sheep. So it's actually more expensive to buy the, the mega pack 18 of the Charmin than the smaller pack. We discovered that last time and it still holds true. All right, Great Value Soft and Strong, which was, oh, this one right here. Okay, that one right there. It is 18 cents <clears throat> at 15.72, 87 cents a roll. It is 0 0.0002 cents per sheet. Three zeros, yes, three zero. 420 sheets per roll times four sheets is 0 0.0008 cents per wipe. Are these all one play or two play or what are they? Uh, they're all different. They're all different. It doesn't matter. The ply doesn't matter. It's the amount per wipe. You have to calculate amount per wipe. Amount of paper? Yeah, because it because the one's thin and one's thick. One doesn't hold as much as the other. So it doesn't matter if it's one ply or two ply. It's how many sheets you have to use per wipe. Because if it's two ply, you're using two sheets, even though it looks like yeah, the same amount. Yeah, but, you know, does it work? All right, and last but not least, right. Angel Soft is 12 rolls at $8.44, 70 cents a roll, 0 0.002 cents per sheet, 320 sheets, times eight is 0 0.016 per wipe. So you guys want to know what the cheapest toilet paper cost per wipe, the best toilet paper to get is, okay, Mike, which one of these numbers here is the biggest? Your, your, oops, wait, we forgot one. Wait. We forgot one. We forgot Sherman Essentials. You mean the smallest? Which one's the cheapest? Look, which one? We forgot. I forgot to write down the Charmin Essentials. Did I tell you the price on that one? 1097 
for 12 rolls, 91 cents a roll, 0 0.002 per sheet, and it took 12 sheets. That one I was you must have miscalculated something here. 0 0.024 per wipe. There's no way that that one is. Because this one you have 0 0.084 per wipe, and this that's 84. Yeah, no, it's cheaper. 8.4 cents, but this is 0.84 cents. So that's there's no way that this one is 10 times more expensive than that one, is it? Which one? The way your numbers are. Yeah, because you had to use 12 sheets instead of four. I see. Okay. So, mm. so it looks like the best value for your money is. Wow. Is it that? Could it possibly be that much better? Actually, this is the best value for your money. Wow. Did you, and you definitely calculated that, mm -hmm. right? I think so. Holy cow. Once again, guess what wins? <laughs> it, it's the same thing that last time. It's the same one. Well, it's interesting. Why is, so it's, should we not say what it is? You, you can. So, so she says it's great value, soft and strong. So but what I'm curious is why does the other great value one? This is the winner. So this is 0 0.008 cents per wipe. This is your best deal right here. So this is your best deal. How come the ultra strong great value is different than the soft and strong great value? Because people think it's more impressive because it's ultra. But it's not actually ultra. Well, what is it that, I mean, how is it that it got to be more expensive? Because it just costs more. It just took more wipes to wipe with yeah. that one? Yeah. Okay, then. So, guys, the Walmart, the cost per wipe, the strongest toilet paper for the amount of money. Once again, I think, I'm pretty sure this one won last time also, was the great value, soft and strong. Now, last time, I forgot to put the price on here, but last time the <clears throat> six pack was cheaper than the 18 pack. So you'll have to go see which one is cheaper. So this is you, this is based on you actually smearing it all over me and wiping it off and counting how many sheets, sheets I had to use. So if you're doing two ply and you have three squares, that's six sheets mm -hmm. and one ply with. No, it doesn't. The ply doesn't matter. Don't worry about the ply. The ply does not make any difference. It's just how thick. The toilet paper is. I used four sheets of whatever kind it was. This is one ply. This is two ply. Yeah, but wouldn't the two ply absorb more because it's got twice as much paper? Supposedly, we didn't do the P test. We could do the P test if you want. You want me to give you a cup? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I last don't, time I don't we need did the P test, for but tests. <laughs> no, I meant so we can test it. Yeah, I so know, you can go into the bathroom and give me a people. sample. So I can have a sample for the pee test. <laughs> um, but the ply doesn't really matter. Because if you're going to use 12 of this one and four of this one, it's how much is the cost per sheet. And so the ply doesn't really make a hoot a difference, actually. Because you're going to automatically use more of this tissue paper stuff than you will of the, of the thicker stuff. So that's why I calculated it per sheet and then per wipe. You have to calculate it per wipe because that's how much, if you use 12 sheets of one for a wipe and you use four sheets of another for a wipe, it makes a big difference. Okay, my favorite subject. <laughs> All right. Let me finish off my video here. Go watch this video next, and we will see you guys next time, livingonadime.com. Okay, now we're going to take your comments on our live show, guys. My editors are going to pull out, which, by the way, it's actually going much better now with them. It was Cynthia. a new system. Cynthia wants what me to lick my arm now. Oh, no. He hates peanut. Would you like to go wash your arm? Uh, sure. You may go wash So here are arm. some comments I pulled out. Oh, okay. They were going faster than I was able to do well. Okay, oh, so if you guys have a comment, post it in there. <laughs> well, you guys go uh, post your comments while he's washing his arm and he'll pull them in there. Uh, Barbara, who's in the mood for a peanut butter cooking show? No kidding. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Susan says, I'm excited to put poop on Mike. I know, poor guy. I need septic safe. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. They're all septic safe. We had septic at our house in Kansas. 
and we asked the guy when he moved in, the, the plumber that installed it, and he said all of the toilet papers are septic safe. It's actually a myth now that Scott tissue breaks down quicker. He said if your septic system is working correctly, it will all break down. So that's, um, and here's the thing, if you're using more of the Scott or the Angel Soft, because it doesn't wipe as well, you're, you're putting the same amount of toilet paper down the drain. So yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm so glad everybody likes this. Um, okay. You want to email those to me real quick? Sure. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Look what Mike got me. I picked it out, but he got me this for Valentine's Day. I found it at Hobby Lobby and I said, oh, you got to get this for me for Valentine's Day. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I just loved it. You didn't mention what I did get you that you were using this morning on the breakfast I got table. a little mini easels for my little mini paintings that I've been doing. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah, my little gnome. I got a little gnome notebook. And uh, <laughs> do you know me or There's do you know me? a couple other art things still coming. Ooh, wow. I didn't know She's that. gotten into it painting a lot. I lately. have. I've gotten into painting. Um, okay. Are you sending those to me? I did already. I forgot to pick up the Quilted Northern. I am so sorry, guys. I used to get that. I will tell you it was higher up on the list the last time I tested. So just go and test it yourself and see how many squares you need per wipe and calculate it. Yeah. Mm. Shelly said everyone uses a different amount of squares as well. But see, you shouldn't. That's just it. If you fold instead of wad, you will literally use three to four times more toilet paper if you wad than you fold because you don't have as much square footage to wipe. So it does make a huge difference. So we did not use Quilted Northern, right? Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, I forgot to pick it up at the store. I'm really sorry. Today was one of those days where I just could not get anything to go right this morning. And by the time I got the toilet paper at noon, I had just about had it. And so I forgot. I'm so sorry. But yes. And yes, everyone wants me to use corn cobs like we did for the homestead. <laughs> Get okay, together. so they, they want to break down. Which were the top three? So the top three, let's see. So the top one the was... The cheapest was great value, strong and soft, 18 rolls. Right here, the, the blue one at Walmart. Okay. Yep. Then uh, the wow. next one, guys, there's Man, a they go huge up steeply. Sam's, uh, Sam's 45 rolls. Which one is Sam's, that? Sam's. Yeah. So the Sam's club, 45 rolls. That's the next cheapest at 0.008 oh. per wipe. Oh, this is get value. Is that great value? Great value. Yeah. Great value. 1000. What's that? And then the great value, Scott one, Scott knockoff. Wait a minute. Hold on. Next. Actually, Scott here, you had point. Oh, no, it's point. Oh yeah. 0. 0.024. Wait, I'm sorry. So it's great value, soft and strong. No, no, no. actually, it's it's great value, soft and strong. But these are 0.024. Uh huh. Oh, that's 0.0084. Okay. Yeah, and then Sam's. Oh, I'm sorry. The great value 1000 was not up there. Sorry. And then let's restate it. It was great value, soft and strong. Then the Sam's. Then Sam's. Then, and then the 0.024. No, that's, no, the that's more than one. Angel Soft. And then Angel Soft and then Costco were the top four. Wow. Which one is the most expensive here? The most expensive is the Charmin Ultra Strong. Wow, the yeah. most expensive. Right there, this one right there, the Charmin Ultra Strong is the most expensive. Is it Charmin what you used to always want? Yeah, until Walmart did their knockoff, and then I switched to Walmart. But yeah, I did the Walmart one then. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. Cat Lover says, I love how serious Tar is. This is very serious. It's like three times the amount if you buy the Charmin versus the Great Value. That's a lot of money, especially if you have a lot of people in your family. Now, I will say we got bidets, and when we got bidets, our toilet paper got cut in half, so that was great. Oh, even more. By the way, Cat Lover, you should change your channel again to Cooking with Cat Lover. 
that would be great. Um, Sarah, Charmin and Cottonelle is thicker and doesn't break down as fast and the toilet can clog it. So here's the thing. It's not actually the toilet papers that's the problem. It's the people using the toilet paper that's the problem because they're wadding instead of folding. If you fold, you're not going to clog your toilet paper near as much as if you wad. You, you just won't. I believe me, I've proven it in my family and I know. So, um, yeah, Joy says I need to add peanuts to see if it shreds the TP. <laughs> see if what? Shreds the TP. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Joy says we can do a poopery test versus air fresheners next time. Yes. Oh, you but then we make, have to create the smell. <laughs> actually, you can make your own. Just get <clears throat> some vegetable oil and put it in a little squirt bottle. You don't have to scent it and put it in the toilet before you poop. It's the oily layer on top that keeps the poop smell from coming up. And then nobody will know. You just did your business. So what brand do we use normally? We use this one right here. This one. And the best part of the blue one. The oh. one that's the cheapest. Oh. The best part about this for us is we get to get a restock on our toilet paper stockpile and take it off on our taxes. What? <laughs> <laughs> now that's double duty. <laughs> um, Shay, adult science and math, this stuff they should have taught in school how to wipe. Cost per wipe, measure the TP. Yes, this is very serious. <laughs> no one takes it seriously. It's very serious. This is very serious. Uh, bidet, get a bidet. Debbie says no toilet paper at all. I don't think that's true. I'm sorry. I like the bidet, but I don't like to be dripping. So still have to use toilet paper, but not near as much. Christy says um, Scott is the worst. Yes, I think Scott is from Satan, if you ask me. But that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> But Joy says, how about the softness of Costco? Actually, it was it was really, really soft. And it was bigger. Um, well, I don't know where it went, but it was really soft. The Costco one was really soft. Uh, Jenna Lee, you have to consider how well the toilet paper degrades, though. Yes, but as I said before, it really doesn't have anything to do with the toilet paper. They're all septic tanks saved. The problem is how you're using it because if you wad instead of fold you're going to use four times the amount of toilet paper versus folding so debbie says you're their hero <laughs> thank you you're i'll take one for the team <laughs> oh now you're gonna kiss me oh <laughs> um Thank you, Mike, for sacrificing and for enduring this so we don't have to. Your heroism is acknowledged, Denise says. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's peanut butter, dear. It's just I know. Butter. It's pretty awful, isn't it? Uh, Connie, hello from Deadwood. The original toilet paper patent has the toilet paper in the over position the correct way. Yes, this is the correct way to do the toilet paper. For anyone wondering, it is this way, and that is the correct way. Send me the next uh, comments, please. Guys, our Dining on a Dime cookbooks are on sale for 35% off right now for Valentine's Day, and it ends tomorrow. 35% off ends tomorrow, volume one and volume two go together, but have totally different recipes. And we have had person after person say how much they save on their grocery bill after getting the cookbooks. And then our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. Also, if you're gluten-free, dairy-free like me, all of the recipes are tested. All the recipes get you in and out of the kitchen in less than 15 to 20, about 15 to 20 minutes for the dinners. Yes, some of the breads take a little bit longer, but most of the recipes for dinners are in and out of the kitchen. I don't like it. And I am, several people have been asking about our kitchen remodel, how it's going. Um, we had major snowstorm on Tuesday, so our contractors also have a snow plowing business, so they weren't here yesterday or today. 
So nothing happened, but I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek. Several people wanted a sneak peek. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek on Tuesday's Tightwad Tuesday for you guys to know. Uh, Denise, question. If you cook a whole chicken like you do a turkey, how long should it take per pound? I don't ever go by per pound. I just put it in the oven for eight hours. It's so low, it doesn't really matter because it just cooks until it falls off the bones. So I just put it in the, in the oven for eight hours and let it cook. So... Mike, did you put the bidet in the house like this in the old one? Yes, we have two bidets. Yes. Yeah, yes. we have two bidets. <clears throat> we absolutely. Actually, it's funny is Tara had the idea for a couple of years, I think you were probably talking about on the show, <clears throat> that she wanted to get a bidet and all of us. We guys, all spent $75 a month on all toilet paper. guys were like, yeah, I don't think so. That would be weird. That'd be really weird. For seven people. But uh, then we put them in and eventually we all tried it. And now... <laughs> It's like, Woo! Now, if we go out of town Refreshing. and we're not here, the boys will say, oh, I missed the bidet. <laughs> and our daughter put one in. Yep. She put one in at her place. Yeah, yeah that's pretty funny. Uh, reading the word says, I needed this laugh after the day I had at work. Oh, I'm so glad. I didn't know it was funny. How is, how is testing toilet paper funny? I don't understand. This is very serious. <laughs> Everybody loved how serious you were saying. You're acting. Uh, if my fingers touch poop, I will die, Jolene says. That's why you need to fold and not wad. That's that's why. Millie wants to know, what are your hobbies, dear? <clears throat> uh, well, I really like hiking, but I'm, at the moment I'm having a little struggle with that because uh, I have a knee that's not quite right. Uh, I like traveling, but we haven't been able to do that much lately. But um, I don't know. I used to have a lot of other hobbies, and I don't really do them so much anymore. So I guess mostly hiking and travel would be the two, I'd say. Deidre, I feel mm. like wadding is worth it so you don't touch it. How important is that to you? But here's the thing. If you fold it, you won't touch it near as much as you wad. I guarantee it. You won't. Try it. You guys don't believe me, but try it. I did not try Cottonelle either, guys. I just had to limit it because, I mean, who knows how many toilet papers there are in the world. But Marilyn says, oh, we're matchy-matchy tonight. Oh. <laughs> we are. Um, Bandana Grandma, do we set up cameras to touch the family members instead of wadding versus folding? So here's the thing. <laughs> I gave up a long time ago. I figured it's not getting divorced over wadding versus folding. We won't say who wads in our family. <clears throat> Everyone but her. <laughs> but I'm assuming. I don't actually know. Um. I will say that we just had two toilet papers when we got married because he likes Scott and I like Sherman or the Walmart knockoff. So we just had two toilet papers for like the first five years we were married. Then he finally saw the light and is okay with Sherman and knew that I was right. <laughs> Can't help it. I know. It's a blessing and a curse. Well, at that and time she <laughs> hadn't done the toilet paper test yet. And I mostly thought, well, this Scott's pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was cheap, but see, we have proven today that it's not. Um, Iva, isn't the water cold on your bottom from the bidet? Go ahead. I don't ever use it. My my turds. You don't use it? No, no, I'm not talking about. <laughs> my turds slide out, so I have very clean turds. I don't need many wipes or the <laughs> I'm bidet. I'm sorry, I don't volunteer so, that information. <laughs> She's a little over the top. So. Um, it is the first time it it was noticeably cold, <laughs> but after you use it, then it doesn't seem like it really bothers you anymore. You yeah, don't, you don't ever use it at all. I don't use it. Well, what do we have it for then? You and the boys. You were the one that wanted it to save money on you guys. Oh, I, see I don't you're... use hardly any toilet paper at all. I get about four squares of poop, and I'm good. <laughs> Sometimes I'll have to use eight if it's a rough day and I don't stick to my diet. But if I stick to my diet, I only need four squares of poop. <laughs> and I only poop once a day. My magnesium just makes everything slide out real nice and firm, but not too firm. Too much information, dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We just need a hose with a sprayer on the end. <laughs> um. 
Let's see. Oh, I have no idea what this name is. How much do the testing su subjects cost total? Actually, like 50 bucks, 50 or $60. So toilet paper has really gone up in price. I've noticed from 2018 when I tested, it has just about doubled in price. So I was pretty shocked about that because this one here, let me look and see. I don't have my receipt. Oh, wait, no, here's the paper. Hold on. Uh, that one was the soft and strong. Hold on. Let me uh, soft and strong. Oh, here. So, oh, no, that hasn't doubled. Okay, so this is $15.72 here. That's the one I've always gotten. And that's only gone up $2 from 2018. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's gone up, but not horridly. Uh, send me the next ones. Um, and Jade. JG says, thanks to Tara, I won't be flushing money down the toilet anymore. Oh, oh, ah! Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm a little behind oh, my because goodness. I wasn't getting questions while you were torturing me with smearing gross stuff on my arm. <laughs> it's coming your way. All right. Um... I am going to be doing a preview, guys, on Tuesday of the kitchen remodel. Several people ask, so I'm going to do it. Also, our books are on sale, 35% off for Valentine's Day. It ends tomorrow, guys. Gluten-free, dairy-free, volume one and volume two. And uh, we will uh, have that sale until the end of day tomorrow. So be grabbing those if you're wanting our cookbooks and i am not getting did you send them i believe so three hold on okay my email is not working so let me just run over the comments here while we see if it comes in um yeah it did send all right denise oh wait that's not to me okay uh Family Dollar toilet paper is cheap and good, Sue says. I did not try Family Dollar. I guess I need to do that. Uh, Grandma, I take magnesium malate as one of the supplements, many supplements that I take, but I do. It's still not coming. I don't know why my email is being a turd. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, so appropriate for this show. Maybe there's a, well, no, that wouldn't be it. You're also in a pretty um, different address. When you visit us, I will know you won't be using too much TP, says Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got to go to Utah to go see Kimmy to see what kind of toilet paper Kimmy uses. Am I going to judge Kimmy for her toilet paper? Am I going to judge Bandana Grandma for her toilet paper if we go visit her? It'll be <laughs> <laughs> exposed toilet paper secrets exposed <laughs> Deborah says a carnivore diet makes your poop super clean I sent it to you from a different email address so you should have okay it now. now let's see if we got it ah now here it is okay uh Renee sorry I'm not giving up my Charmin actually here's the thing the Charmin and this soft and strong are basically the same thing I, I used to like Sherman, but the soft and strong is just as good. So Wanda says Mike gets the TB, TP award. <laughs> um, Joy says it's greatly appreciated when people use poopery at work. Just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly Nash, old milk jugs and two liter bottles make great greenhouses. Yes, I'm saving mine now for in eight weeks when I need my mini greenhouses. Diana, using your video tips of reusing recycling containers instead of buying a container, I just planted up four strawberry plants in recycled containers. No money for plants. They were in the grass. No money for dirt. Use leaves and dirt from outside and no money for containers. Well, there you go. Actually, last year I spent $350 putting in my raised beds, but only because we had the money. Normally, we used all recycled materials and I don't spend anything on um my gardening i really don't kimberly i learned a lot next time i buy tp it's going to be great value soft and strong yeah yep 
Um, Lori, I think he would rather do a chocolate taste test. Yes. I haven't had chocolate in a little while. Well, I have a full shelf over there. Do you and mom? Oh, there's the cocoa that I could have used for the for the fake boop. I knew I saw it somewhere. <laughs> uh, Linnell, uh, or Larnell, I don't, Tana, maybe. Uh, is the great value soft and strong septic tape safe? Septic safe. Right there. Septic safe. Once again, it does not have anything to do with the toilet paper. It has to do whether you wad or you fold. Joy says you should do more shows like this on other products. Actually, I have been thinking about doing that. Like uh, for the kitchen thing, I got some drywall repair that I'm testing and some cleaning wipes, some paint cleanup wipes. Ooh. Oh, they did not work. They did not work. I'm going to get another brand and try those, but I was, next one, I was extremely disappointed. And then today I tested the bare paint from Home Depot versus the Restore cheapy paint that is $10 a gallon cheaper. <clears throat> you guys will want to watch that show. Uh-oh. You better specify that it's not Brad's Restore. It is. Well, did I say Brad's? No. Oh. But since he watches, you might think oh, you're talking about it. No. It, well, it was his restore. Oh, it was? Yeah, for oh. the paint. Now, the stain, I got a problem with the, with the restore in Cheyenne. That's not Brad's store. But, yeah. But, um, so I'm testing those. And I think I'm going to go get Walmart's paint tomorrow and test that. And then we had a major issue with the paint on my cabinets. Do we text the contractors and warn them tonight before they come tomorrow, or do we just spring it on them in the morning when they show up? You mean about repainting that one section or about you painting something? About repainting the whole the whole thing up there. I'd probably let them have a good night and <laughs> tell them in the morning. <laughs> Actually, I was having nightmares about it. <laughs> I was. Uh, yeah. <sighs> And then I got a piece for Mike's brilliant idea today. Next set. And it did not work. Oh, yeah. I saw that when you brought it in. I didn't want to say anything because I knew you were maybe not having the best day. <laughs> so I got to be chiseling out some stuff to see if I can get it to fit. I don't know. I was thinking about doing that tonight. Um, we better talk about that after the show. It'll work. My brilliant ideas always work. <laughs> okay. It should be on the way to you. Uh, all right, Nikki, who came up with the topic for tonight? Me. Because that's how she rolls. <laughs> because uh, I want to know these things. And if you guys notice, that's a huge difference between 0 0.008 per wipe versus... The most expensive one was 0 0.024 per wipe. That's a huge difference. Like, a lot. You know? Yeah. So if you did a thousand, so let's say you did a thousand wipes. Let's just see how much money you would save over a thousand wipes. 0 0.008, no, three zeros. 0 0.0008 times 1,000 is 80 cents. And <laughs> is it really worth the price for, for dinking with this then? You have to wonder. 0 0.024 times 1,000 wipes is, oh, well, yeah. So here's the thing. That's a huge amount of money. 80 cents for a thousand wipes versus 24 cents or to be versus $24 for a thousand wipes. Is that possibly right? Are we sure I did my numbers right? Hold on. Let me go in and just recalculate here. 1575 divided by 18 equals. 87 cents a roll divided by 420 sheets. Wait, divided by? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. 0 0.002. Yeah, that's right. 
So actually, that's a lot of money. Over a thousand wipes, 80 cents versus $24. That's a whole hour's worth of work. If you're making $20 an hour, well, that's like almost an hour and a half to two hours worth of work, an hour and a half's worth of work by the time you pay taxes. So you're working an extra hour and a half per thousand wipes versus great value versus the Charmin. <laughs> Is it worth working an extra hour and a half to have your Charmin versus great value, soft and strong? I don't know. And this is not a sponsored post. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm really glad I didn't have Home Depot sponsor the home reno. Oh, my goodness. That could have been really bad. This is why I don't do sponsored posts. She never likes the things that she thinks about getting sponsored for. Because it never fails. Every time I think about doing a sponsored post for something, it just like inevitably just totally fails. And then I would have felt really bad promoting a product that just failed. All right. Um, all right. A lot of healthy recipes. It's a regular old fashioned cookbook. I don't go into healthy. I don't go into vegan, vegetarian, diabetic, keto, none of that stuff. It's just a good old cookbook. If you want to eat healthy, add some broccoli and some carrots on the side. That's how you eat healthy. But well, and you can choose the ingredients. Healthy is so subjective now yeah. that I don't even go there. So it's just, I mean, it's, it fun. starts with basic, it starts with, um, what am I saying? Um, just regular ingredients. So like plain, like meat, vegetables, and, ver and you can make breads and stuff like that. So basically, you know everything that's in it. So Depends on if you think you can make that healthy. I yeah. Think, I think you can. <clears throat> Actually, I was going to come in on Laura's thing there. But we can do this. this Cindy first. says, made your spicy chicken from the crock pot recipes for dinner tonight. Ooh, I'm so glad. We have a crock pot collection ebook, guys, if you want to check that out. Mitzi's mom says, does the first hardcover have more recipes than your old one? So it depends on your definition of old. If it's 2019 or, but, or older, yes, it has more recipes. If it's 2019 or newer, no, it does not. 35% off right now for our Valentine's sale. It ends tomorrow, guys. Livingonadime.com. Go grab it. Um, would Dollar Tree baby oil do the same as pooper? Poopery. Yes, they would. It's the oil in the poopery that forms a layer on top. You can make your own homemade. So it's the oil. You can just use vegetable oil. It's the oil on top of the water in the toilet that keeps the fragrance from the poop wafting up in the toilet. Kes Bella says, I purchased a hundred roll of Scott tissue toilet paper on clears for $12. Well, that sounds like a good deal. Marilyn Monroe, get the small bottle of essential oils instead of poopery. Yeah, you don't even have to make it scent. The essential oils don't do anything except just make your bathroom smell good, smell good. But the oil will just keep the poop smell out. It has nothing to do with the essential oils. It only has to do with the, with the carrier oil that's in the poopery. All, all they do is add this fragrance so it smells like you're, so, so you think you're getting something more than just, I mean. So it smells nice. I'm not kidding. That poopery, how much does that stuff sell for? All right, let's see. How much does it sell for? It is. Okay, so that stuff is $10 a bottle. The bottle is probably 15 or 20 cents. And you maybe have three cents to five cents worth of ingredients in there. Seriously. People have no idea what a ripoff the poopery stuff is. Those people are just good at marketing. And let me, okay, I won't go there. But so they're good at marketing. Faith says, will the oil not clog up the commode? No. Oh. Yeah, oil's just. It, just it, degrades. In fact, it might. Might make it go <clears> down smoother. It might possibly make other clogs. Go down smoother, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> American Jewel says, my granddaughter got a Bible from you guys, and I crocheted a rainbow cover and prayer mouse book. She wanted me to tell you I absolutely adore my very first Bible. Thank you. You are welcome. So glad. Michael, put the link if you guys want our free Bibles. We give them for free. Just put in the coupon code, and it will be for free. There is a charge because a lot of people wanted to buy them because they could afford them. But if you can't afford it, 
please use the coupon code and we will send it to you 100% free. Um, but please, we are begging you. Uh-oh. <clears throat> if you think someone needs a Bible, please do not just send it to them anonymously. Somebody's in a doorway. Because you think so-and-so needs a Bible. We have had a major issue with um, people sending Bibles to people because they, are they stuck? Hold on. We might have someone stuck in our driveway. Um, we've had an issue with people anonymously sending Bibles to people. And they're stuck. <laughs> uh, we've had an issue with people anonymously sending Bibles to people. And then they get very angry and they email us because they didn't order a Bible and they want to know who sent them the Bible. And then they don't want the Bible. So they return the Bible to us and we get charged again for the postage because we ship the media mail. So it is a waste of money that people have donated to ship these Bibles. We want to be very good stewards of the donations that people have given us on the Bibles. And so please, we are begging you. Just because you think someone needs a Bible, do not just send them a Bible. If you think someone needs them a Bible, just use your own money and give it to them as a gift for the next holiday or whatever, or just a gift. But please stop sending people Bibles. We have this happen several times a week, actually. And so, um, yeah, please feel free to order one for yourself, but not to send them to anyone else. You mean just because a lot of people are getting them that don't really don't want, want them. them. <laughs> and listen, if people, are you sure they're not stuck? No, they're not stuck. Okay. Um, because people are getting very angry and it's not okay. Yes, as Christians, we are to tell people about Jesus and we are to spread the gospel. But if they don't want to hear it, you can tell them once, twice, whatever. But cramming it down their throat isn't going to bring them any closer to God. So next step, please. That's my little spiel on that one. Um, so anyway. All right. So uh, the vehicle was not stuck in the driveway, despite the fact that we have 12 inches of snow out there. What were they doing? Just turning around? Yeah, and they have oh. four-wheel drive. We, we plowed some of it, but we didn't plow enough for, well, I would have turned around without getting in the deep stuff, but I guess they didn't. Yeah. Uh, Mom is fine, Wanda. She just snowed in. Mike and the boys went over to plow today, but Mr. Cranky Neighbor had already done it, apparently, last night in the dark. <laughs> yeah. A good thing I don't have a vehicle at the moment. Um, all right. Seminia says, thank you for my Bible and your planner. You are one your cookbooks. Yay. Uh, okay. Were your cookbooks inspired by the church lady cookbook churches sold for fundraising back in the day? No. These, it started with my family's recipes, 70 years of my family's recipes. And then my recipes included for volume one. And then volume two is all of the um, volume two is all the other recipes that we couldn't fit in there. And then gluten free, dairy free is all of my recipes that I use to eat gluten free, dairy free that I adapted from volume one. So this book here is adapted from that book there. There's over 1,200 recipes and tips. And if you guys need to know where to start to save on your grocery bill right there, I guarantee you, you will save on your grocery bill. Um, everybody does. Every time they go to the grocery store, I get emails all the time about how great 
it is to be saving money. Hello, hello, Rob. He that was the hello, hello of somebody <laughs> I know in person. He uh he burns his toilet paper so he doesn't have to worry about the septic tank. Oh, okay. I bet that goes over like a fart in a space suit with some people. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you could get paint at the restore. Yes, Grandma. So they used to have people donate their paint there, but they don't do that anymore. Now they have their own line of paint that they get from somebody. So it was very interesting. Um, it was very interesting. Um testing the restore paint versus Home Depot. And I think I might go ahead and just add Walmart in there. Although I went and tried to get paint today. I went to four different places to get paint. Two of them had their paint mixers broken. The other one, I was not about to pay $60 a gallon for paint at Ace. Oh my word. I about had a cow when I saw that. So anyway, Wanda says, I hope painter, the painters aren't watching. <laughs> Actually, they have subscribed, so they might they might see this video. Sorry, Yaku. <laughs> nah. He's probably still out plowing snow, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But uh grandma so happy says, I can't wait to see your kitchen. Oh my goodness. It is looking good. The part that's done so far. Uh... Mm-hmm. There's more space in there for sure. It's looking good. I took out two thirds of the cabinets and there's more space. Yeah. Yep. And then there's Mike's brilliant idea, which you're not going to get a sneak peek of Mike's brilliant idea. It's going to have to have its own video. It's too cool. What? Because everybody's going to want to do it. <laughs> I know. Um, Bonnie, oh, the planner. Yes, guys, we have the undated planner. And I know Monday I said I was going to film it yesterday. <laughs> I didn't get it done. I will try and film it tomorrow before I start painting and my hands get all painted. But it's our 20. Don't count your chickens until they're hatched. <laughs> it's our undated planner, guys. Over four, around 400 pages. If you go look at the video, the reason why I'm not that worried about the video is because if you look at the video on the planner page, it's the same exact planner. It just doesn't have the dates. It's the same exact planner. So that's why I'm, that's why it hasn't really been a priority. Just go watch the video on the planner page. Michael put the link in there and it'll show you how to use it. And really, I mean, we've had person after person say, my life is finally organized. The, the planner page. The plan oh, okay. Yeah, I did. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. Yeah. I did, but I'm doing it again. Um, Debbie, do you think Walmart provides different qualities of soft and strong for different states? I bought the 96 pack of Great Value Soft and Strong reluctantly when Sam's was out of TP, and it's awful. I don't know. They might. You got that one right there, the blue one? I don't know. I, do I know. don't know. So I would doubt if it's the same product. It's I'm It's hungry. a different in different states although now that i think about it like if you buy uh sodas and things <laughs> she's eating it now oh my goodness um, sorry. if you buy um like coca-cola in one place and coca-cola in another place they're bottled at different plants they should be the same but they there could be a slight difference and maybe that's the case with toilet papers maybe they have more than one plant that that provides them I just realized that spoon was being smeared all over your arm. Yeah, but you would lick my arm, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, I brief, very briefly worked back at Walmart way back in the day at the warehouse. And one thing I would say is they have two different kinds of stock in there. They have the stock that's always there. And then they have another kind of stock where their salespeople are just working out deals with whoever wants to sell something. And so they might the store might suddenly receive like 30 pallets of something that they didn't know was coming. And so when you see special things go out that you don't, you don't normally see, it's usually that where they've made a deal on it and then it comes out. So, um, but as far as the, I don't know, I don't know on the TP. So Denise wants me to show how to fold again. Okay. Four squares in half. And then I do a third and a third, but if you want 
you could do a half if you want. It's just a third and a third gives you a little bit more square footage for wiping. Maybe, I don't know, does it actually give you more? Maybe not. I don't know, let's see, a third. I guess I should get a tape measure and measure. I don't know. It looks about the same. I don't know. But there you go. Should we go down to two? Oh, let's go. Let's do two. Okay, dear. One more time. Let's test one more time. Wait, I thought we were done with this. I know. Let's test two. I already used to be day. I know, but let's test two. Okay, hold on. Let's see if you can get by with just I thought two. We just this part. Oh, no. Oh, this is a turd, not sticking one. No, not you really can't do two. It's I'm just, glad. it's squishing out the side. <laughs> squishing out the side. <laughs> okay, go watch Rob. <laughs> Better send that to Rob so he can burn it. <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> I can't really. I got chicken thighs for $1.68 a pound. Good deal. Kimberly, I love the cookbook because it's simple recipes, the recipes that we grew up on, and I never learned to cook, and that's what I enjoy about the cookbook. Yes, that's why, oops, upside down. That's why I wrote it because most people like me, not my mom's fault, I just was a tomboy and did not want to learn how to cook, but most people have not learned how to cook, and so they, that's why they go out to eat because they don't know how quick and simple cooking really is. So, and way cheaper than eating out. Way, like way cheaper. cheaper. All right, send me the next one. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. Now let's see. So if you guys have questions, throw them in the comments, and we will hopefully get to them. Um. Yeah, today I got hamburger for a dollar ninety-seven a pound. It's sitting on my back patio because I don't have room in my fridge downstairs. It was a ten-pound chub. It's like this long. It's like, I don't know, what, three feet long? It's huge. You know, we used to do that, but I was thinking, we know that we had raccoon here, so. Well, it's going to be processed this evening. I see. But, yeah. Processed raccoon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Okay. Well, Ida says, Benjamin Moore is expensive, but it's easy to apply in one coat. I don't know. Maybe I should go get some and test it. Oh, my goodness. Do you know how many whites I'm going to have in my living room if I test all these paints? The thing is, at $60 a pop, I think that's what it was, $59. At $60 a pop, that's not cheaper than the Restore then. It's about the same price. It's the same price. It is the same price. No, wait, let me think. Yeah, well, it might be. I don't know. Because if you divide it by three, so I don't know. It might be slightly cheaper, but it would be definitely less work. Definitely less work. Uh, Little House Off Grid, have we discussed our thoughts on the train wreck? Okay, I guess I need to just do a video on the train wreck. Like, I've had so many people... Um, do that. So yeah. Um, what do I mean? Little house off grid burns his toilet paper. So in his videos, he talks about what they do for septic issues. And in Missouri, it's legal to burn your poop and your toilet paper. So that's, I don't know. Do you still do that, Rob? You, you used to, maybe you don't anymore. And he's had people, it's so ridiculous. He's had people call the police on him saying that he's just dumping his poop in the creek. It's, it's ridiculous. It's not true. But, um, but when you think about it, all it is is toilet paper. They used to burn cow chips for, for fuel. It doesn't do anything. So there's nothing wrong with it. So, um, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, Wanda, did you miss Tight Tuesday this week? No, I just didn't get it done. I was just too tired yesterday, and I was like, I cannot do a video today. That's why we canceled the live, because I was just too tired. Um, did you get those? Let me see. Just one second. I did not. Ah, here it is now. 
Joy, well, now that you broke it down into how many hours it will take to pay for toilet paper, I'm getting a bidet and a blow dryer. <laughs> Just not right in the same place, though. <laughs> it could be a shocking experience. Oh, I got that. Genevieve, you were right about not buying spices. I always use the same ones anyway. I'm using my stash. Yep. Very good. Um, Genevieve, wasn't inspired by a tightwad gazette. So it depends on your definition of inspired. These are not her recipes. Actually, there are a few recipes that she has the same recipes of, but I didn't get them from her. Um, they're just normal recipes like what? Chocolate syrup. But what was inspired was her view, her uh, readers wanted a cookbook and she doesn't like to cook. And she um, said, I don't think I could do a comprehensive enough cookbook to actually teach people how to save money. So she said she didn't want to do it. And I was like, well, shoot, I could do that. And so if you mean inspired that way, yes, but I didn't take her recipes or anything. Um, do you have two kitchens? I actually have three. I have one in my basement and this is our studio kitchen. Although the stove doesn't work, but Faye, I got thighs today for 98 cents a pat pound. Wow. She stocked up. That's great. I found I use less to wad. I remember folding. I, okay. I have no idea what that, the, nothing came through right. Okay. Cindy, 12 thumbs up on the spicy chicken from the crack pocket ebook. Yay. Um, J Moore, hydrogen peroxide magic erasers clean painted walls. Well, I couldn't get the cat boogers off the walls. They are like super great. I'm so glad we don't have animals anymore. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. Amen. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, let's see. How have we all adjusted to the snow? Well, we've lived in snow almost all our lives, except for six months in Texas. So snow is no big deal for us. There it is, is more, more snow. here. But yeah. when we were in Idaho, there wasn't more. We have the same amount as we had in Idaho. Mm, that wasn't that bad. I mean, I guess you were 25 years younger. But... <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> last night, I was out in the dark with the boys when the wind was blowing pretty hard <laughs> and I was teaching them how to use Big Bertha, the snowblower, because I was like, wait, they should be driving this thing, not that. Mm -hmm. um, do we live far from Brad and Krista, uh, Big Family Homestead? Yeah, I mean, we're like 18 or 24 hours away. We're a really long way. Yeah. But... Um, so I didn't say anything about the train wreck yet. I'm, I'm, I'll probably shoot that video tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I got a lot to do tomorrow, don't I? I don't know if I can do shoot we know that video. Anything about it? Well, they just want to know my two cents on it. So well, she's gonna give it to you. Now, would I give my opinion? Never. You're such a such a non-opinionated person. <laughs> now, what was the mug that I found at Hobby Lobby? Yes. I'm Might not opinionated. Me? I'm just oh. aggressively helpful. Oh, oh that one. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to help you whether set. you want it or not. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Would you say any more? Yeah. An idea for reducing fast food runs is finding and making copycat recipes of favorite items. Yeah. Um, and actually, Dining 2 has a lot of extra, has a lot of copycat recipes. Chicken Alfredo, Chick-fil-A sauce is in there. There's several of them. That one has a lot of copycat uh, stuff, right? Yeah, that one has quite a bit. Because that's what people seem to want when we made it. <sighs> All right. Um, Did you see maybe earlier? silly question, but what are your thoughts on all this talk about aliens and stuff in this? What is our thoughts about the aliens, dear? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do a video on that, too. Yeah, I, I think it's silly talk. I think it's real. You think it's real? <laughs> I think it's smoke and mirrors and people are just trying to distract you from something. So there you go. Now, what are they trying to distract you from? The fact the rapture is going to happen and we're going to all disappear. You know, a half a billion, a billion of us are all going to disappear at once as Christians. And then they're going to have to have an exclama exclamation. Well, they're going to have an exclamation too. But they're going to have to have an explanation of why all these people are gone. And so they're just setting it up so that when we go, they'll have an excuse. 
So, okay. Um, sorry, did you send me the next batch? Yes. Six. Okay, here it is. Had a cow. That's an expression I haven't heard in a long time, Meg. What did I have a cow about? I don't remember. No, you just said something about somebody having a cow, and she just thought it was funny that you said that, and I thought you might want to see that. Ah, I see. Faith says, I'm an extreme couponer. Use store money, digital coupons, or rebates app. Half the price are free for me. Very good. Robin, it was a chicken fried steak that I made, not the Salisbury steak that she loved. I was wondering. Chicken fried steak, dining on a dime cookbook, volume one, Mike's favorite number one recipe that he asks for every holiday. We should make that with all the 10 pounds of hamburger I just got. It's the dish. We could make that without having a... a um... Oven. Yes. Well, yeah. by all means, let's do that. Wanda, in Ooh, the last few days. Make it with those wedges, potato wedges you were making in the air fryer. Ooh, that was good. I was shocked. That was so easy. What did you put on it? Just a spray oil and, and seasoned salt. She put spray oil and seasoned salt on potatoes, cut into wedges, and threw them in the air fryer, and they tasted just like the restaurant ones. <laughs> like they were awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I am appreciate you eating that. Maybe we should make that for dinner tonight. That sounds good. Wanda, in the last few days, I've seen articles that say it's cheaper to eat out than to buy stuff and cook yourself. Those reporters are stupid. They're just stupid. Oh, my goodness. Don't even get me started on people who say that. Wait. Even if you're single, it's stupid. Oh, wait. The cheaper? I was going to make a comment on that. I think it's because those people that are doing the stories, they think that if you buy that thing that you buy where it's like a whole kit and then you throw it all together at home that you're actually cooking at home. And so when they say it's cheaper to eat out, they're thinking, well, it's cheaper to go to McDonald's than it is to buy the $20 a person meal pack at the store. But that's not how you buy food at the store. So they're just idiots. Stupid. <laughs> Rachel, not to make it political at all, but my husband's 401k has lost 60000 since the new administration took over. It's sickening to me. Well, it's all political because they are, that's what they're doing. They are literally trying to destroy our country and make everyone lose their money. I mean, you're going to own nothing and be happy. It's They're not even hiding the fact anymore. So, it, I mean, it is all political. Okay, Tara, I had messaged you regarding the little pink sound, like when I can jam. Can I ask you if someone else hears that kind of sound from their overflow of food? I heard again yesterday. Well, so if you're hearing your the pinging sound when you're canning, after you've canned and it's been sitting a while, it means your seal is releasing. And that's bad, right? Yeah. So yeah. if you hear it, I would just go see which can has popped up. If you can, I don't know. It depends on how much canned goods you have. And then um, use that. Just grab it, put it in the fridge right away. Um, Sarah, I watched a video about banks, bad things like Bank of America taking people's money. Do you think the banks will collapse? Um, well, so the Bible talks about how there's going to be the need for one world government because there's going to be a huge financial problems in the world, not just our country. Do I think the banks will collapse? No idea. Here's the thing. We, you guys saw our bank video. It's not going to matter if you have your bank, if your money in or out of the bank. If it gets, starts getting to that point, your money is going to be so devalued that it's not going to have any value anyway. So that's why we say get your house paid off, get your car paid off, get your stockpile up, get invested in commodities that you can, tangible items that you can, and um, do that. So Diana, your chocolate syrup recipe is better and costs less than all the others I've seen through Google. Thank you. It is delicious, isn't it? It is absolutely the best. 35% off our cookbooks right now, guys, for Valentine's Day sale. Next set. Um, it ends tomorrow. So if you want to grab our cookbooks for a really stinking good deal, 35% off um, right now. So, um, okay. Let's see. While well, he's getting me the rest of the comments... Wanda, I worry about all of us on some form of Social Security or veterans payments. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's We're all going to be toast if it comes down to that. So, um, I wouldn't put your retirement in gold and silver either because here's the thing. 
it sound in theory, it sounds good, but you're not going to give a piece of gold for a loaf of bread. I mean, you will eventually have to a day's wages. The Bible says a day's wages, it's going to cost for a thing of bread, but having gold and silver is going to be okay. But I think you'd be better having commodities than even gold and silver because really gold and silver really won't even be worth because what are they going to be worth, you know, for anything? When is Jill's pan, when is mom's pantry video? I don't know when it's going to come out. I have it filmed. It's at my editors right now, but I have a specific list that he has to go through first. And I honestly can't remember where it's at in the list, but probably in a little bit. Um, Nellie says, so aliens would have the technology to travel, travel billions of miles and then approach us and easily taken down apparatus. That's ridiculous. Exactly. Thank you. Oh, I do have one thing to say about, so the one that they definitely admitted was a balloon because people two hours from us saw it in the air. <clears throat> I have to wonder, why are they shooting this down with a half a million dollar missile? Do they not have just the regular guns on the planes anymore? <laughs> Because I think they, it would have been a lot cheaper to have shoot 100 rounds of ammunition at the balloon and just deflate it than to use a half a million dollar missile. So get it together, government. Send me the next one. Uh, Elizabeth, one. our uh, chicken fried steak uses hamburger and not cube steak because it's cheaper and it actually tastes a lot better. And you don't have to get a machete to cut it up. You should have one that says seven. Thank you, just Kate. Kimberly, they actually sell a wall cleaner that you can clean all your walls before you paint. It works fantastic. You can get it at any of the hardware stores because you want a clean service for the primer to stick to. I don't, I would maybe do that over my stove area in the kitchen, maybe the kitchen. There's no way I would do that for my whole house though. No way. My greatest achievement is that I, she also says, my greatest achievement is that I actually have my husband looking at how much you get for the price. This has been a huge hurdle that I finally got done. Really helps with grocery shopping. Yay, that's great. Rachel, I'm in Ohio on that train wreck. It's devastating. Keep it calls all down the Ohio River and no one is addressing it. Yeah, it's a mess. Just Vicky. Uh, several people are talking about the derailment. Yes, Grace. My husband is a plumber, says, do not use Sherman. I don't know. I've had plumbers tell me it doesn't matter. I don't know. You do whatever you want, but that's what they tell me. Robin, an idea for reducing fast food run is finding copycat recipes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Annette says, use butter flavored oil sprays on your potatoes and weds. Oh, that would be really yummy. Mm -hmm. That would be really good. Um, okay, next ones. Um, yeah, that would be really really good mm -hmm. she really says i'm watching news in a while and i honestly don't miss it yep so um H amy says because using a big missile makes the <clears throat> psych op more believable the psyops more believable the psyops what's a psyop S uh, psychological operations meaning that no. it it makes everybody think it's more scary or whatever. And I, yeah, that was a complete, <laughs> that was a complete. Christine, I would be more concerned your bank could cut off your account and debank you. They have done that in Canada. I know they did that in Canada and they'll do it right here. I mean, it's to the point now, guys, they are just going to do this stuff if they decide to do that stuff. Maybe I need to do a video on this too, but this is why we keep telling you to prepare as much as you can. You need to have some cash on hand. I would say three, six months if you can. So that if you're like the truckers in Canada where the government just said, well, fine, we're going to punish you. Then at least you have some cash. But, um, but, taking, but if you've got $250,000 in the bank... I mean, I guess if you want to keep it on your mattress, keep it under your mattress, but all, it's going to be to the point where if it starts getting that bad, it's all going to be devalued. There's going to be no value in anything. On the money. And yeah, and inflation is going to be so high, you're toast no matter what. 
the thing about inflation is the money's value is based on how much of it is out there. So you take the whole value of everything there is in the government and you take the, or in the economy, and then you take the number of dollars and you divide the number of dollars by the total value of the economy. And that's how much a dollar is worth. So if they print a lot more money, even if you have money under your, your couch cushions or under the bed or whatever, that money's value is going to go down because they're, you know, expanding the money base. They're trying to undo some of their damage right now, but they just can't stop themselves from spending. It's like an alcoholic when they just have drinks hidden everywhere. And that's our government has drinks hidden everywhere. And so mm -hmm. that's the main thing that money won't really be. The thing people were talking about gold and silver is that's not really a, w that's not really a situation to buy. You want to say? I just want to say, look who's recommending that. Are they recommending a company that's sponsoring a video or that they get an affiliate link if you buy the gold and silver from them? Sorry. Go the thing ahead. about gold and silver is it's not if if there was a financial collapse, it wouldn't really help you if you're trying to use it to buy things. Its value is if you're putting money in gold and silver now because you know you're gonna buy British great British pounds with it or something else like that. Otherwise it it doesn't have value as a spending thing. And it's not always a good deal to buy it. Like if the money doesn't collapse, then you buy it. And a lot of times everyone else is buying it at the same time as you. And then when everybody kind of calms down a little bit, because people forget pretty quick what's going on, then its value will decline while you're holding it. So that's also a problem. With the, the, So I wouldn't just buy gold and silver unless you know what you're doing and you have a specific plan that makes sense on that yep and look i mean are they are they sponsored by a gold and silver company do they have an affiliate link for a sponsored company you know if they do i would not listen to that advice so um mainly there's value in things that that you need that are going to last so like a house house has value because you can live in it and if you have other things, everything has a lifespan. So like if you have a car, a lot of us made cars last longer, but people estimate a car is five years. I wouldn't spend a ton of money on a car. I would buy a used car like we do. <laughs> but uh, if there's something that you know your car is about to die, I would go find a good used car now. Or if you know your tires are shot and you're going to need some new ones and you're putting it off, probably buy it now. Because if things get worse, then you've gotten the value out of it at least. Oh. So, oh, what kind of air fryer do I have? Ugh, the one I hate. I got the cheapest forty dollar Walmart one, and the dumb bucket doesn't stay inside, doesn't stay on. So I'm actually returning it. I got it after Christmas on clearance, and I'm returning it and going to get a Ninja because it's better. I got, I didn't keep the the big ninja one. It was really nice for dehydrating, but it, it really didn't work for everything else. Very good. So actually I have to laugh. Wanda said, if aliens come to visit, they wouldn't be too impressed in being shot down. Yeah. I think it's funny that they're saying, Oh yeah, we don't know what these things are. Like, so you shot it with a cruise missile. <laughs> like you don't know what it is, but we're just going to blow it up. Surely they knew what it was. <laughs> they just don't want to tell you what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Wanda, my mobile home is paid off, but I live in a park, so I have to pay a lot of rent. I am on disability, so if the government collapses, I eventually be homeless probably. Yeah, but if the government collapses, everybody's going to have the same problem, so you probably won't be homeless. But, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Yes, a loaf of bread is $1.39 today, and the next depression comes. A lot of loaf of bread is now $25. It doesn't matter where your dollars are stored. It's still lost value. Yes, that's the whole point. I mean, once the government collapses, um, it's just going to be collapsed. And there's going to be, it's just going to be, that's why you need to have skills. Even though I'm not planning on planting a vegetable garden this year, I don't think. I know how to do it if I need to next year. And so, you know, yeah. Thank you, Bandana Grandma, for asking everyone to give us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up, guys. We appreciate it. Um, 
Amelia says, Parrish, please, my niece is having a fourth episode of that thing going around, hitting her harder than ever before. She's a fifth grade teeter, teacher. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, we've had it three or four times, and it's not fun. Um, although we haven't had, I mean, it's been nothing worse than just the flu, so, for us. But, yeah. So, um, okay, did you send me the next one? I sent you... Uh, Eight. bandana. I was told an air fryer and convection oven are the same thing. That is correct. Yep. That is correct. Thank you, Wanda, for giving us a two thumbs up if we could. Do you have any plans for fruit trees planted on your land? No. Fruit trees do not do well in Wyoming. I don't know. I might put an apple tree or two, although I don't think we're going to be around long enough to see it. Um, I sent you in. Pammy oh. says, you guys remind me of Lucy Ball. Oh, thanks. <laughs> At least uh, it's not the other Lucy. <laughs> no, I remind you of her. <laughs> she had to think about which Lucy that is. I had a golden silver is fine for an economic downturn, but for a complete collapse, you can't eat it. Yeah. Kimberly, can't wait to try the chicken fried steak in our Dining on a Dime cookbooks. 35% off right now for Valentine's Day, guys. It's ending tomorrow, so grab them today. Grab them today. Tested recipes with cheap, easy ingredients that you already have on hand. Um, can you do another one? Yes, guys. I'm going to try. I'm going to try some cooking videos when the new kitchen is done. Only like four here, but I'll send you. We'll see how it goes. I ain't making any guarantees. We go by analytics now and not by what people ask for because I just don't have the time and energy to do videos that are going to tank. I have an idea for doing a different type of video that we're going to try again and see. But Kimberly, I will have total control of your money. They can turn it on and off. They control what you buy depending on your social credit. Just like they want everyone to have an electric car, we'll kill a switch so that they can turn off your car if they want. There will be nowhere traveling because you're going to find you to 15 minutes a day. Yeah, I mean, they've already got plans well, for all this actually, stuff, that's so. really interesting because our son has an electric car, <clears throat> and he has it. He's made a solar generator to generate the power for it, but it didn't charge one day, and he checked, and his charger said that the local uh, electric company had shut off his charger so it wouldn't charge his car. And his car wasn't on their grid. It was on his own solar panel. Yep. So it's things like that. Or in Colorado last year, a lot of people were complaining, although they didn't realize they got bribed to sign up for this program. They signed up for it, but they didn't read the They paperwork. signed up for an energy saving program where they say in Colorado, we'll give you so much money to sign up for this program. But what it does is it gives the government the authority to turn off your electric or at least cut it back. Whatever they want. Whenever they think that you're using too much. And so, yes, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, and so what she was talking about on the money, social credit score, they're doing that in China right now. Mm -hmm. They're so going to do it here. It's I mean, where if you're saying stuff that's unpopular, then your money is worth less. Two years ago, this was all conspiracy theories. Well, they're not even hiding it from you now. They're just flat out telling you this is what they're going to do. And so, I mean, you know... Uh, Tanya, what is the lifespan of all-purpose flour? My flour is a date of October 22nd. It is not bad. Use that stuff. It'll smell bad if it's bad, and it is not bad if it's only been four months. So use it. You are totally fine. You have like 18 months past the expiration date. Um, Debbie asked for the question of taking money out of the bank. This question isn't related to inflation. It has to do with the evil powers, the elites that are going to steal money from accounts. It's theirs. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be, so it's just, you're, if you don't know Jesus, you're going to just need to get ready to buckle up for the ride because people who know Jesus are going to be gone. He's coming back to take us in the rapture and we are going to be in heaven if we know Christ as our savior, but next batch, but um, everyone else who's left, you know, it's going to be literally hell on earth. It's going to be awful. And so that's why we keep uh, spreading. That's why we keep spreading the gospel for people to know. Don't trust the salt expiration dates either. Oh my goodness. Bandana grandma. Go to her web, go to her channel guys, bandana grandma. Um, she did a video. 
Himalayan salt oh. that's been buried for 2,500 years expires in 2024. She was like, oh, good. They got it out just in time. That it's was like, a brilliant comment, oh, Susie. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, T Cider says my bank app here in UK shows my carbon footprint each month. Oh my goodness. Wow. How, I wonder how they wow. calculate that. I noticed they're doing that on uh, airline tickets now. If you want to buy tickets. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. A uh, video on organizing your kitchen. I am actually doing that Miss T. So yes, you can be looking for that. Um, do you think things will get worse before the next election? I mean, probably. I don't. Uh, maybe not. I think they may try to tone down some of the stuff they're doing just for the election. But they're rigged anyway. It ain't going to matter. So it's like whatever. Because I think what happened in 2016, they knew it was rigged. That's why Hillary had such a tamper tantrum and they just did not they totally underestimated how popular trump would be and so um i think now they're ready for it and they're just gonna let it like what happened in november so Do there is no way there's no way in november they won legally there's no way because people you cannot have now okay let me just say Despite all that, the Bible is very, very specific that God is the one who put the kings and governors in place. God is very specific. Or I mean, the Bible is very specific that God is the one who puts these people in place. So even though I think they were rigged, I think that it's all a part of God's plan. Why? Because part of God's plan is that the economies are going to crash. The Antichrist is going to come over to help everything and he's going to let them have one last fling for seven years before they're thrown into hell. And so it's, it's just, everything's falling into place. Does it worry me? No, there's really nothing I can do about it. I can get myself as prepared as I can get our house paid off, get my stockpiles up, you know, make sure we're as ready as we can be and get my garden space, you know, but, you know, you just do what you can for the best and just realize you're just going to have to hang on for the ride. Jolene was asking, do the comments stay or go after from the live stream when it goes to record? I think they stay. I thought they stayed, yeah. too. A tiny face, any advice for Amazon addiction? Block it. I was wondering, oh, so... Block it on your computer. So the Amazon addiction is buying, Yeah. You can block it. Well, if it's if it's you that has the problem, then you might be able to unblock it if you block it. But I'll have your family member block it and not give you the password. Yeah. Amy, conspiracy theorist now means early knower or truth. Yeah, pretty much. Um, do gastos really let off something to hurt you? No, darling, they don't. No. Uh -uh. So. Um, <clears throat> Jungle Queen says, you're so right about the Duggar video. I got down, done watching. It was sad. The comment section was turned off. I think I just found a new group of friends. <laughs> yeah, I, I just had to turn off the comment section. I just was like, you know what? I've said what I've said. I am not going to explain myself or justify myself. There's no reason for me to do that. And if you can either believe me or not, it's fine if you don't. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue. So, and I didn't want false information in my comments section. That's why I have turned off some of the videos because I'm not going to pay someone <clears throat> to go through my comments to keep the false information out of my comments. And so I just have decided to start turning some of those off. Um, Jungle Queen, so many losing faith. Thankfully, you already told us what to watch for when he comes. Yeah, I mean, if you're losing faith, then you never probably had it in the first place because people are like, Tara, you're wrong. The tribulation's coming, or the rapture's coming after the tribulation instead of before the tribulation. Okay, so if your faith is that weak, 
that whether the whether the rapture comes before or after the tribulation, then you don't really have any faith, I guess. It doesn't matter. If I'm wrong, so what if I'm wrong? I'm not like yelling at you. I'm just saying, if I'm wrong and the tribulation comes and the, and the rapture comes after the tribulation, so what? First of all, the chances of me dying during the tribu tribulation are two to one, I think, if my math is right. There's going to be a third of the population die from famine and droughts, a third of the population die from plagues. I think I've got this right. I might be mixed up. And a quarter of the population are going to die from pestilence. So you've got only about one to one and a half billion people left on the planet at the end of the tribulation anyway. So my chances of dying during the tribulation are pretty good. So what? I'll be in heaven with Jesus anyway. It ain't gonna matter. So if, if your faith is that little that you have to sit there and argue about it, then I question if you're truly, if you're, if you're truly a Christian who's given their life to Christ fully and has accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Because it's okay to be concerned or afraid to do those things because you don't want to go through it or you don't want to go through pain or whatever. That's one thing. But to be scared and to have no faith because of it, that's a totally different thing. <clears throat> so she said, no, I just meant people in general, nothing about pre or post tribulation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I just, understood what yeah, you meant. She, I'm just saying, I didn't think you were saying that. I wasn't hollering at you. I was just saying, we get that all the time. That's why I cut the comments off. So I'm just stressing all those people are going to put it in this comment this time because it's like they come out of the woodwork and it's just ridiculous. So um, Christine says, if God really put the current resident president in office and he has more of a sense of humor than he thought. Yeah, but think, think about Daniel in the Bible. He put Nebuchadnezzar in office. And, yeah. and he was way worse than the guy we have in office here. And yet Daniel revered him and was respectful to him he didn't give up his faith and he still bowed down and worshiped god when it was illegal when the king's hunt henchmen basically made a law or convinced the king to make a law to make it illegal so that they could catch daniel and what did Daniel do? He did it anyway. And then what happened? Then he was thrown into, well, first of all, he was thrown into the fiery furnace. Then he was thrown into the lion's den. And what happened? God protected him. Now, God may protect Christians by letting them die. So what? You're in heaven with Jesus. How is that a bad thing? That's going to be great. You're going to say, why didn't I get here sooner? And so... Yeah, I mean, I God puts God puts it's very specific that God puts the presidents and the governors um, in power, and so uh, you know. <clears throat> let's see. I was trying to find the verse. I need to just memorize these Bible verses. Um. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, here, Romans 13, 1. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities for there is no authority except that which God has established. So God has established those authorities. And so, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. so, oh, Jim's going to be having surgery to remove a tumor from his kidney. Oh, we will pray for you, Jim. You have been a faithful viewer. Yes, we will. And please update us when you come back, please. Um, all right. Uh, okay, Pamela, could you please say what the name of the gardening book is? By the foot, Square Foot Gardening, Pamela. That's my favorite gardening book of all time. <clears throat> And Wanda said maybe the viewer, 
meant carbon monoxide from gas stoves being harmful. I don't remember who asked. Well, I think that viewer was referring to that uh, a lot of places in the country on the East Coast largely are starting to ban the use of gas stoves for the environment thing. Well, and it, and they their excuse is it's for kids with asthma. They say it's for kids with asthma. Brother. I think the reality is they're just trying to eliminate the use of gas, but it's going to be a lot more expensive to use the coal that they use for, that generates the electric than it is to just use mm. gas. Yeah. 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 Um, so I don't, I, but it is true. Carbon monoxide is a problem, but that only is really if your gas stove is malfunctioning. Yeah. yeah. Where in the Bible, Patty, where in the Bible is Daniel in the furnace? Just Google it. Just say, Bible verses, Daniel in the furnace, and you'll find it. Wait. What? Oh, you mean not Daniel himself, Rack, Shack, and Benny, right? Or I mean, oh, I meant Rack, Shack, and Benny. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay, I'm sorry. The Rack, Shack, and Benny sorry. is a joke. It's, I was. It's Sh Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but we, I just joke because the Veggie Tales call. Yeah. No, what? I, I'm sorry. I'm really tired. Um, I was talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were saved in the furnace when they didn't bow down to the idols that they were commanded to bow, bow down to. And then Daniel also was saved. I apologize. I was not thinking. That was my fault. I was just joking when I said Rack, Shack, yes. and Benny. Um, it's Daniel chapter 3. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, since you're feeling so bad and since the comments are short, shall we go? There you go. Yes. Monique. <laughs> you mean our electric isn't gas? Monique says gas. You mean our electric isn't produced by a guy flying a kite with a key tied to it? No. Yeah. Yeah. 35% um, off, guys. Our Valentine's sale is almost over tomorrow. It ends tomorrow night. And volume one, two in our gluten free, dairy free edition. Thank you, Jen. Daniel 320. Uh, these are all 35% off right now. Also, our undated planners, they're undated. So you can just start right away and you don't lose any months. And if you want to see the inside, just go look at the video on. It's beautiful. On the, uh, go look at the video on the sales page. It explains how to use it and how it will absolutely change your life getting organized. I'm going to share Bible link here, too. Um, everybody says, watch Pastor Jack tonight. Yeah, I think he said he's going to have a special announcement or something. Did he? Do you know what it is? All right. I didn't hear that he said it except from the comments last oh. week, but I'd be curious. Yeah, Jack Hibbs is a really good preacher. J.D. Farrarg is a really good preacher. David Jeremiah is a really good preacher. All of those um, preachers are Bible-based. They stick with the Bible. Um, if you guys need a free Bible, we will be happy to send you a free Bible. Um, just use the coupon code and we will just send it to you. No, um, no strings attached. Kim says, will taco seasoning last a couple of months of made in bulk? Yes, it does. I make it in a big bulk thing and it like once a year. She loves making all those seasonings. So if yeah. you if you have Dining yeah. on a Dime, was it just in one? Volume one has the first and set of seasonings. Volume two has the uh, more seasonings, and then gluten free has all of the seasonings in gluten free form. Also, Tara keeps uh, she doesn't have a tons of them, but a few of the ones she really likes, like the seasoned salt. She has its own shaker, uh -huh. so she can grab it real easy and, and season that. Yep, that's yep. exactly what I do. Thirty five percent off right now, guys. It ends today, and or tomorrow. I mean, livingonadime.com. Thank you for joining us. We will see you guys next time. Bye.